So you want to be able to jump to the current date in your Excel worksheet. I'm going to show you two methods. The first uses a formula, and the second uses a VBA macro. The current date is the 7th of November 2022. Okay, let's start off with the formula method. Now, one of the functions we're going to use for this formula solution is the hyperlink function. It has two arguments, link, location, and friendly name. So for us, the link location is the cell that we want to link to. And I want to link to E5. The current date is the 7th of November, 2022. Now to specify that link location, I've got to put it in quotation marks. And then I put in a hash symbol and then the cell address, closing the quotation marks. The friendly name is the hyperlink text. So I might say, for example, in quotation marks again, find today's date. And then close the bracket, press enter. And so if I clicked on this hyperlink, it would take me to that cell. Now, obviously, we want to automate this so that it always links to the current date, whatever the current date is. Now, there are two extra functions we need to achieve this. First of all, we have the today function. Equals today, open bracket, close bracket. That returns the current date and it keeps itself up to date. And the other function we need is the match function. And the match function returns the relative position of an item in an array. So essentially, we want to return the position of today's date in this list of dates. So our lookup value would be today. Our lookup array would be the list of dates that we're looking in. And our match type, we want an exact match. So that's zero. Now if I press enter, you can see it returns three because it's the third date in this list. But today's date is in row five. So I need to add two to that three to give me the correct row number. So now I have the correct row number for today's date. So I need to incorporate essentially this match function into this hyperlink formula that I have up here. So we're going to keep the speech marks and the hash, but I'm going to take out this cell address. And after the hash, what you do is you put in the column letter for the column that contains your dates. So for me, that's E. And then we need to join that E to the row number that the match function is returning. So to do that, after the speech marks, you put in an ampersand symbol, and that concatenates or joins text values together. And then I use my match function. So my lookup value is today's date. My lookup array is the list of dates. And my match type is zero. Close the bracket. Because my dates start in the third row, I have to add two to that match result. And then I can press enter. So now if I click on this hyperlink, it takes me to the current date. Now, what would happen if today's date wasn't in this list? Well, let's delete today's date and find out. And we get the NA error. And that NA error is being returned by the match function because it hasn't found a match for today's date. Now, what would be better is rather than showing the NA error is to show a message, for example, today's date not found. So how do we do that? Well, we can nest our current formula within the ifNA function. ifNA has two arguments, value and value ifNA. Now, value is your formula that potentially returns an NA error. And value ifNA is the message or the value you want to return in place of that error. For us, that's today's date not found. And if I click on that link with that message, it does in fact give me an error. I cannot open the specified file. But if I reinstate today's date, you can see the message changes and the hyperlink now works.
Okay, so that's the formula method for jumping to the current date. Let's move on to the VBA macro method. Now to use VBA macros, you're best showing your developer tab on your ribbon. It won't show by default, so right click on another tab, choose customize the ribbon, and then tick this option here, developer. Select your developer tab, and then over on the left here, you'll see a Visual Basic button, just click on that, and that opens up the Visual Basic editor. Now in the Project Explorer down the left here, you'll see a list of all the workbooks and add-ins that are currently open or being used. And I'm currently using the workbook Jump to Today's Date. You can see that up here in gray. So what I need to do is select that project and insert a module. And that'll give you a little modules folder here with a brand new module for you to store your macro in. So make sure that module is selected and then in the code window, paste in the VBA code that I've provided with this video. You may not have option explicit at the top of the code window, but don't worry about that. So this macro I've called select today, and the main line of code that you're interested in is this one here. Cells is the collection of cells in the current worksheet, and what you're doing is finding today's date. And we specify that using the date function in VBA. And once we found it, we are selecting it. I've also put a little error handler in here for you. So if today's date is not found, a message will be displayed, today's date was not found. Now let's see if this works. So if I select another cell in my sheet, and then I'll play this macro, you can see it does select today's date. Now you might want a button that runs this macro. So if I close down the Visual Basic Editor, to create a button like this one, what you do is you go to your Developer tab, go to the Insert button, and under Form Controls, you select the Button button. You then draw a button on your sheet, and you select the macro you want to run with this button. So I've got Select Today there. Click on OK, and then you can change the button text. Click outside the button, and now when you press the button, it will run that macro. Now, if you are using the VBA method, you will need to save your workbook as a macro-enabled workbook. You can see that I've chosen that file type there. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.